In question 3a, we can use a proof by contradiction to show that root 2 is not rational. To begin, we assume that root 2 is rational and express it as a fraction of two integers, p and q. We can assume the fraction is written in its simplest form, which implies that p and q have no common factors. Squaring both sides and rearranging tells us that 2q squared equals p squared. The left hand side has a factor of 2 and hence is divisible by 2. It follows that the right hand side must be divisible by 2 also. This implies that p is even. If p is even, then the right hand side, p squared, will be divisible by 4. This means that the left hand side, 2q squared, will also be divisible by 4. This implies that q is even. p and q both being even means that they have a common factor of 2, and this contradicts our assumption that they don't have any common factors. Part b involves an equation with several log terms. The number in the base of the logs are all powers of 3, so we can use the log rule for changing bases to rewrite each expression so that they have a 3 in the base of the log. Now, every term in our sum has a common factor, log base 3 of t. This can be factored out. Next, we can divide both sides by 1 plus a half plus a third plus a quarter. Calculating the right hand side tells us that log base 3 of t is equal to 4.8. Raising both sides as a power base 3 tells us that t is equal to 3 to the power of 4.8. In part ci, we can explain the meaning of log base 6 of m as follows. It is the power which 6 must be raised to if you want to obtain an answer of m. In part ii, we are told that m is greater than 6 and asked to consider the value of log base 6 of m. Since 6 to the power of 1 is equal to 6, to obtain a value greater than 6, we will need a value greater than 1 in the power. Hence, log base 6 of m must be greater than 1.